All right, let's do this. Um, got the pan, banana. We can go walrus tusk. I said that like I was not, I was not confident in going walrus tusk there at all. Um, but mainly just for the spike shield, which will carry you at the beginning of the game for a lot of the rounds, which is pretty much what we're going to need right here. Um, but yeah, we'll go with this build versus double sword whetstone. Always a great start. We don't have a shield. Um, but we still managed to win because of pan, I'm assuming. I'll take that. Let's okay, let's do oh crap. Um you know what? We need combinations here. Let's go with combinations here. I will also get Whetstone that's on sale. Let's get customer card that's on sale. Um so we need combination here. We also need a combination here. So we're not gonna have space for anything, but I don't know. You might still win, you know? You never know. You might still win versus just a torch with a bunch of food. You know what I mean? The possibilities are there. Not looking so great so far. Or at all. <laughs> I am. We probably lose. I'll take it, though. At least we get our combinations. All right. At least we get our combinations now. Boom. Um, let's go ahead and get the lump of coal. We're going to need that. Whetstone for DPS. Let's get some space. And let's get the customer card. Do we need another Wobbles Trust? I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna need another walrus tusk for anything, so I'm not gonna get it. There we go. I feel like I passed up a broom. I need another broom. Um, going against double whetstone, wooden sword, with a bunch of food and poison. Very dangerous. Big critical there. Holy crap! Double crit. That was lucky. That was very very lucky. We literally double crit on him. Very lucky. Uh, let's go fanny pack. How much mana does this use? 0.5. Point seven. I don't think I'm gonna need any more bananas. So I kind of don't want to waste my money on that. I'll go I'll go stone broom and fanny pack for space. I think that's good. I think that's good. Hopefully this works and we don't have to rely on survivability. If I do see a garlic, I'll get it. Blueberries, I'll get it. Big critical. How am I critting this much? We're getting super lucky with the crits here. Oh, damn. If we would have critted maybe one more time. That would have been great. Um, okay, there's a garlic. I'll buy, buy, buy. Yeah, buy. We'll sell this jewel and we'll get the platinum customer card because I've never had it before. Wasn't planning on getting it, but here we are, I suppose, you know? Here we freaking are. Um, Just to make the shovel a little bit faster. Could put the garlic in there. Or no, we can't. Well, we do this. I think I'd rather put the banana in there. And then garlic can just go there. All right, I guess we're going to get a platinum customer card for the sake of having platinum customer cards. I've never had one. Hopefully, um, I don't think it's like crazy. I don't think. I know you get an increased chance of getting uniques, but that's really about it. And then the, uh, the reflecting of debuffs, but that's really about it. I think we need more bananas because we're going to be out of stamina a lot, apparently. And I just now noticed that. <laughs> I regret not getting that banana. But boom, platinum customer card. Oh, it's got to be legendary golly or unique items. And you only reflect one debuff. Ugh. Interesting. Do I go pineapple? I don't think I do. I will get the stone, though. I'm hoping for a blueberry or something. Um, gloves of haste. Whetstone. I'm going to roll again. Blood amulet would have been nice with that whetstone. Honestly. Let's actually get the blood amulet just for survivability with the vampirism can be nice. Um, I'll also reserve the fanny pack and roll. OK, I got a banana. That'll help us out with stamina usage, which is good. I guess that counts as a. Oh, it's a legendary. Cool. And then we'll just put a bunch of stones there like that. OK. All right. We need to start rolling a lot to get these items. We need we need we need to get Health Potion and Blueberry, ASAP. And I believe we probably lose this one too. Unless we can just get lucky and crit a bunch. Doesn't look like it though, nope. Damn. 
Okay, mana orb. There we go. Um, this is gonna be risky, but I'm selling the shovel in order to get this guy, which we don't have any mana generation though, which is gonna suck. Let's not get the banana now because stamina usage is on our side. Give me a blueberry. The game hates me. I'm gonna do it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I knew you knew what I wanted, game. You just giving it to me late. Like, we're at round seven. What'd you expect me to do on round seven? Lose? <sighs> yep. Versus a gooby? Only form of attack is, or, you know, my claws attack and torch. Hopefully, thorns can do something, though. Come on. No. 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 We tried. Let's try it again. Um, banana, pan. Double banana? Yeah, double banana. And lump of coal. I'm not going to go for the spike shield this time. I'm going to see how that goes. Don't know how well it'll go. Hopefully it goes somewhat well, though. It's got potential, I suppose. Should I get whetstone? Nah, let's not get whetstone. Pass up on a whetstone as well. We're just going to W key. Let's see how we do. Versus just a wooden sword and a whetstone. He's got regeneration and banana, but I, we definitely out DPS him. So happy about that early win. Um, let's go garlic space. Space on sale. Why not? Have to. Have to get the space if it's on sale. Um, and we can put this. Like. Uh, like that. That works. That works. Let me get a broom so I can get me a shovel, please. Game. Oh, you lucky motherfucker. You lucky. Let me be you. Let me be you. I'd be happy too. Good game. <laughs> Stone broom. Thank you. Um, it's on sale. I have to. Okay, there goes the potion. And... Yeah, I'll buy you. I'll buy you. Oops. This will work. I doubt we're winning this next one, though. Very high stamina usage. So let's put this down. We might be able to win, potentially. Maybe. Never know, I guess, right? Should I get space? Almost made a mistake here, because this has to touch each other. Almost made a mistake. Um, Maybe not. Maybe not get space. Yeah, let's not get space, because it's going to combine. I'm going to get three space back anyway, so let's not get space. Okay. Let's not overuse our money on trying to get space here. The only thing we got to worry about is poison, but his only poison activation is from the wooden sword. I don't know why he doesn't have his food in there. I've got no idea why he doesn't have his food in there. We only got to worry about what flying Arlick, I guess. And we're still going to lose to this guy, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now we got the shovel. Let's get the health potion. Roll. We're going to need you. I'll roll again. Ooh. Should we go garlic? Um, Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think we go garlic here. Man, I want it inside of the, uh, which I, I could do that. We'll just have to like move this around a little bit. Somehow. Um, damn, I could do this. Hold up. I got this. All right, it's okay. You're outside. I know. I know he's outside of Ranger's Act. It's okay, though. It's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just trust me. Trust, trust, trust. It'll work, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Versus a Claws of Attack, Shovel, and a Spike Shield. We out heal, but he out DPS us. For sure. Health Potion used, and yep. Game over. We lose. Damn. It's okay, though. I'll take that. Hey, Agent, how's it going? There goes our Blueberry. There goes our another Broom. Um, I will get that, and let's also get Space here. Turn that to a Mana Potion. Um, 
Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I see a lot of people doing this. Just have a whetstone right there. You're good. Dagger, hero sword, and wooden sword. I wish I had a spike shields right now. I wish I had a spike. Big critical, and he crit too, unfortunately. Unfortunate. This is a really close battle. Wow. One by one health. Crazy. We needed that win, though. We really, really needed that win. Um, let's buy you. I might not even buy the leather bag, honestly. So now we can get a mana torch. I'll get the health potion. Um, we can do that into there. Health potion definitely needs to be here. We're not using the mana, so that's not going to be an issue. And we can do this. Let's actually get the space. We're going to need it. Should I get the gloves of haste? Yeah, let's get the gloves of haste. Could be clutchy. Okay, okay, okay. It's coming together. I'm, I'm seeing it. It's coming together. Going against, looks like a bone arrow with a hero sword. A little bit of generation as far as survivability goes. I think we... Have a little bit more than him, but he's definitely got his beat with DPS, especially with that bow and arrow combined with the hero sword with a 30 critical. We got destroyed. But now we have the magic. Uh, we have the magic torch. OK, acorn color might be nice. Actually, no, 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 no. We're not going crit. We're not we're not going crit. We can't invest into crit. Let's roll. OK, OK. So glad I did that. So very glad I did that. OK, um. Sell the clover, sell the garlic, get the mana orb, and get the stone skin potion. I could have sold the shovel. It's okay. It's okay. So stone skin potion on the health potion. We can even bring it down by one to get that upgrade. Um, we also need the mana potion or the mana um the mana broom or whatever you call it. But at the same time, we're not gonna have mana generation. So we gotta wait until we get a blueberry. While we're waiting, we need to do a little bit something like this. Was that 2.4 and it's 1.4? Bringing that up by one is definitely ideal. Boom, boom. Oops, boom. Boom. I guess we just do that at the end. I think this works. So that's getting the damage up. Um, it's a little bit faster. We got regeneration with health and everything like that. Getting an upgrade. And then we got the health potion with the stone skin potion combination. Okay. This is looking good. Versus a bloodthorn double uh, regeneration. He's got a health potion of his own. And he's also going to be critting. Okay. Okay. Not the worst build to go against, honestly. We might be able to win this. Unless the broom is just overpowered and makes us miss. Since we have no clovers, our accuracy will be low. 80% so far, and this accuracy does scale. So we might be missing a lot. But our damage is scaling as well. Even with that 80% accuracy, we're still doing pretty damn good. And then he's out of stamina. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Nice combination there. Um, I'm going to put you on the outside. Let's get the leaf. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's roll. Well, we need space. I'm going to buy the potion belt. I'm going to just buy it. We need space. Any space is good space, right? Um, we could double down on a health potion. Let me just see, because I, I we're selling the shovel here, selling the shovel, so we get a little bit more money. And then we need to combine with the mana orb here, but we also need it to generate mana for us for the magic torch. So putting it here is the best bet. Moving the food down to get more activations is probably also good. Actually, no, we don't need it for activations because this is going to gain. This is going to get all the mana that we ever need. 
for the battle since this only uses one mana right so we could really really just keep our food up here and then work on um getting as much mana as possible out of this it's probably best so boom all right hold up hold up hold up hold up my brain is spazzing out right now okay let's just we could keep that like it is this has got to be in the middle though i feel like i need a banana up there or not we can move it over by one all right that's good and for the last garlic all right maybe we do move this over here to put a garlic down like here damn um crap or move that there and move this over We just need these potions to activate. That's really all we need here. Cause that works. And then we can get the potions to activate like this up here. It just, what is it? It just has to be nature items. Okay. Does this count as a nature item? Does the coal count as a... No, but the stone does. Okay, cool. The stone counts as a nature item. We have to use that. I'm trying to get as much mana as possible. Cause that also gets us regeneration. Which will help us with our survivability, which is really, really good. Let me see. Um, We can move this actually out of the way. Bring this back down. That saves us a slot. That might be exactly what we needed, to be honest. We can move this over by two to do that, that. And now we have two fresh spots. One there, one there. And then for this, we I don't I don't even know what to do with it. Um maybe use it on the bananas. Like that. That works. And then we also got another fresh spot. Like so. Awesome. And then this can uh Go right like that. Great. And then we also got, I forgot we have uh, more spaces. So let's do that. I'm also going to get the health potion and we'll also get that. Oh, another. Okay. Nice. Um, Let's move that over by one. We can get double activation on the stone scan potion, which is good. And then we can just move these like so. So both of those burning coals will get activated now, or at least a, a, bu a buff. Or upgrade, they'll get an upgrade. Okay, this is looking great. I think this is probably the best. I could probably do it. Everything that's a food item or a nature item is uh, getting activated with the stars, which is good. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six mana at the start of the game. Plus the mana we get from the mana orb. That should be enough for the magic torch for sure. And then we have survivability with the bananas along with double health potion and a stone skin potion, which is good. Um, so yeah, I believe we should be straight in order to start the game. Okay, not the worst build to go against, honestly. Okay, versus Excalibur, doing 11 to 12 damage, but ours is going to scale. Um, it's going to end up doing more damage than he is. And then we also have more survivability than he does because we have pretty much the exact same amount of regeneration, but we also got our health potions and stuff with us. And we're, we haven't even used it yet. And we're already beating him as far as DPS goes. 9 to 12, 8 to 12. Almost there. There we go, 11 14. So now our Excalibur is pretty much doing the exact same damage. Or his Excalibur is doing the same amount of damage as our um, as our Magic Torch goes. He does have that chance to crit, though, which he did crit a few times on us already. But other than that, we should definitely be able to take this one home for sure. 
Thank you, sir. I'm actually happy about that one. Because now we have the magic freaking staff, which is really, really good. Um, and then we can get the blueberries here for that uh, extra mana generation. Let's get some space. Um, let's roll here. Because now what we want to do is turn it into a crit wood staff. And for that, we're going to have to get a clover. Or not a clover, but the uh, we're going to have to get the... Um, what do you call that thing? The ring. The ring. We're going to have to get the ring. Um, I kind of want to switch this up a little bit, though. Now that we have this little guy, I can realistically switch that out. Because I'd rather the weapons be fast instead of the food. Honestly. Could even just do this for that. Uh, or we could turn this into a mana potion. I say that's what we do. Let's turn that into a mana potion. We get mana from this. Getting mana from the mana potion. Oh, wait. This uses up three mana, though. I mean, the blue bear is not going to be able to generate enough mana anyway. So getting four mana from the mana potion. um, And then mana from the Uger's Leaf. Hopefully that'll be enough. TBH. Because that's all the mana generation that we're going to have. So we need to get a mana orb ASAP, honestly. Honestly, getting this Book of Life right here might not even be the best play. Fishing for another mana orb potentially would be the better thing to do. Realistically. But yeah, I'm going to move this. I want to move it over because I want to use the fanny pack um, on both of these, which means I might not be able to use the uh, the gloves of haste here because I want that inside of a fanny pack. Oh, no, actually, I can. Awesome. That works. Yeah, that works. Um, I'll put the blueberry there. Actually, that yeah, awesome. Um, and then we could potentially move one of the bananas down here like that. Turn that upwards. Banana there. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, that doesn't work unless we do that. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can activate that last. Uh, well, I mean, I could put a star right there. That works. Oh, yeah, we have this one just sitting, chilling all alone. The only thing that would work there is a blueberry, realistically. It's fine, though. And I'm just going to put that right there. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's roll. See, we go against. Okay. A lot harder build to kill. I don't think it's going to activate either. Well, it will activate eventually because he's going to be able to generate enough for the activation to go off. We already used up all our mana, by the way, which is insane. This got 10 to 12 damage, though, and that's a four, uh, five to eight. Woo! I can't believe we used up all our mana already. That is insane. Yeah, but this needs to be a mana potion ASAP. ASAP. And we're going to need a mana orb ASAP. Because our damage isn't increasing anymore. We were lucky to go against this guy. Our damage is not increasing anymore. But let's get that mana potion. Get another blueberry. At least we can get some form of mana or uh, what do you call it from that? I'll get the stone because we already got one. That also will help with the, uh, oops, of this little guy, which is good. But what I really need is another mana orb, to be honest. Um, could get another book of hate. Nah, we don't need, we don't, we don't need another gloves of haste. Realistically, we do not pass. There we go. Woo! Okay. Awesome. Where am I putting it? <laughs> I don't know where I'm putting this. I would love to put it on the magic torch, especially since the gloves of haste is on it. It's 30% faster. But there's no place I could put it in order for that to work. I mean, I could just move this up by one and that would work. That would work. Can I move this over? Moving that over is not smart. Unless I move it over this way. 
just so I can get a different form of activation on that. Which would just be a bunch of food. Starting with this one. All right, yeah, that works. Starting with that one and um, we can go garlic. That works. Boom, boom. Extra garlic there or no, actually, no, 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 no. That's not too bad. That works. Yeah, that works actually. Everything that's a uh, food item is getting activated. So yeah, that works. Um, I just wish I could make this blueberry a little bit faster. Unless I were to move the potion situation that I have going on somewhere else. I would need space for that though. Which I can get a little bit, let me see. I can get a little bit of space like this. And then move this up by one. Or even by two. Um, And then fit a food item in here, which would probably just be a garlic, making it 10% faster. Or I could just sacrifice one thing of mana for a gloves of haste, making that 20% faster. Now we just have a rogue garlic out here not being activated by our leaf situation. Unless I move it over here or something. Or put a pineapple there if I had one. <laughs> um, but I think this is okay. Even moving it down like that. Like, I think this is okay. At least that'll activate. Okay, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Now we have mana generation, which is good. So now we can scale. They have, they also have mana generation for what? The book of life, I'm assuming, because he doesn't really have anything else for mana. He's also using the crit build. I say we probably take this W for sure. Our build is a million times better than their build, I think. A million times better. He doesn't really have any DPS except for the shovel and the torch, and that's really it. Like, he really doesn't have much going on for him. Even with our mana generation, we're still lacking in mana. We're gonna need a lot more mana generation if we wanna be able to use this magic staff along with the um the magic torch, honestly. Big critical there, bro. 64 damage. The game is pretty much over at this point. 25. Getting up to 25 to 27 damage. 15 damage a second. Pretty damn crazy. I need I need another mana warp though. For sure. Or more blueberries that works too. Or Dejan Lamp. Dejan Lamp actually does work. Um, because that can generate mana for us. Well, just put it there, because it's not gonna proc, I don't think. Or combine it with the, the book of uh um not the book. What? The Gloves of Haste. <laughs> Combining it with the Gloves of Haste. Um, and then we just got to figure out a spot for this blueberry. Mm. Which we can put here. That works. At least it's around two food. That's really what I was aiming for. Just for it to be surrounded by two food. We just do that. So now we got a really fast DJ lamp. That can help us with mana generation. It'll probably generate everything. You know, we'll crit a little bit more. Both of the things are inside the um, the crit little box, so that's good. Um, all right, I think that's straight. Should we turn a health potion into a mana potion, though? That's okay. This is dangerous. Okay, he's got the mana thirst. Mana thirst, double sapphire with his own mana orb. This is a dangerous person to go against, I believe. Bit critical at the beginning there, though. Really, really good. DJ Lamp is putting in work as well. Journeying that spikes for us and mana and everything like that. Um. Oh, we might actually win this one. His health potion has procced. We're still winning. He still hasn't pierced through our... Wow! I might actually uh, freaking... Yeah, we... Oh, I just realized how badly we need that ring now. We need the crit wood as soon as possible. 
a bird that's on sale though come on bird that's on sale though and we got the book book will be good for survivability let's go book book is good for survivability next round we have to buy those two as well we need the survivability we can also use it as activation here which is good even though we risk that i mean activation is just important or i mean we could just do that instead that works we could just do that instead we don't have to risk the you know you know we'll put those aside the fanny packs though so now we got better activation for the mana orb once we get 10 mana which might be at the beginning of the game now i'm thinking about it hopefully not though oh, i might regret this we might regret this oh my god that is one fast mana thirst that is one fast freaking mana thirst he's also got his own mana torch as well so we activate at the beginning of the game not ideal but might not be too bad since we do need to live as long as possible for our dps to increase but his dps is also increasing he's also got a really good combination with mana thirst and magic torch um since the mana thirst pretty much generates the mana that you're going to need for the magic torch our mana is not doing so great right now big huge critical we needed that so much health potion proccing oh my gosh i don't know how are we critting so much we're, our crit chance is 10 percent, and we crit twice on 10 percent. that is beautiful i'm not gonna get the bird i will get that though we need okay another mana orb is nice another mana orb is nice i need the ring though blueberry we can we can get the blueberry for a double proc of strong scan potion or we double proc mana potion or mana maybe not we just got a mana orb maybe not considering we just got a mana orb our mana generation might not be that big of a deal anymore to be honest so turning this into a mana potion might not be too i mean it only heals 12. so yeah let's let's turn it into a mana potion um i'm gonna just put that there for the activations wait can i bring this no i'm not gonna bring it down by one i want the dj lamp in there the dj lamp is what's gonna activate or help us activate the mana i would bring it down by one in order to you know for the leaf to activate but yeah oh what the what is this what is this falcon blade on a staff of unhealing how many times did you roll in order to get the, the not only the falcon blade but also the staff of unhealing and a mana thirst and double bloody daggers about to get a third bloody dagger i don't see anything else in your build what in the world is this okay this looks like an unhealing build he's got one thing of mana generation which he needs six you need six mana for that i mean he is generating mana because of the mana thirst and i guess with the um with the vampirism that you're getting and then the life steal is going to help with the staff on healing we'll see how this goes hopefully it doesn't go too well for him <laughs> hopefully 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 but um so far so good is he out healing our dps right now wow he literally just healed all the way back up oh my god big critical there huge critical right there come on dps keep increasing come on keep critting keep increasing let's go we're almost tied there we go now we're tied oh yeah let's go let's go out of stamina let's go you need more bananas my friend let's go one more crit one more crit one more crit let's go one more hit one more that's 90 at the end 90 38 to 40 damage can i please get a crit with staff oh let's go and we got another book we need the other book bro we need it and we're getting way too close to dying so survivability is extremely important we we only can live one more round which is going to be the combination round and we can't get both well we could if we sell things hold up book of life for sure we need to sell something worth three which realistically would probably have to be 
well we can, we can sell a purse because we don't need this many purses we can sell a purse how much do you sell for one um let's sell a banana even though i don't want to sell a banana i feel like selling the banana would be the better play selling a banana and a protective purse Actually, no, we need to protect the purses. If we get two more protective purses, that'll be an instant proc for the stone skin potion, which can help us out. So garlic is probably the most useless food here. But I need that crit wood staff like now. So let's sell a banana. I'm selling a burning coal. I don't care. Boom. So now we can get the crit wood staff. That'll also help us with our crit in general. With both of our we weapons. That'll be good. Um, I got to figure out a better situation for this blueberry though. Realistically for both blueberries. We can. can turn that sideways move that there move this down crew with staff here and then um that can go there that did not work as well as i thought hold up do i want to do it like that that's less survivability because it won't proc twice for the resistance but we'll have more mana to work with but i mean I don't really need the more mana to work with, I don't think. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can fit this blueberry in there somehow. Instead of just switching it like that. I mean, I could put this on a blueberry. Try to make that one at least faster. Move that over by one. So that has two food. That's got one food, but it's also got the gloves of haste, which is good. We got better activations for the mana. So our mana generation is going to be good. So I believe I should probably just double activate on this stone skin potion. Just not sure if I could do that. Unless I move that over for more space over here. That will work. Move that down for activations, I guess. Okay. Okay, I think this is good. I think this is good. Okay, versus a poison build. Okay, ah, uh, ranger poison, very dangerous. Ranger poison, very dangerous. But we got big, huge block right there. And we also got a second book of life. Is our mana generation gonna be good enough to activate that second book of life though? I think so, we're at nine. We're literally getting to nine and just not getting to 10. It's like almost equal in a way. There we go. Nice. Let's go. We should definitely win this now. We should definitely win this now. Um, 25, 27, 12, 15. We have a little bit of luck. 35. Let's, uh, one bit crit and it's over with. Just give me a crit. There we go. There we go. I'll take it. Now we got our crit wood staff. Now we're always going to crit. Beautiful. Um, We need more mana generation though. So I would love to get a little bit more mana generation. Maybe a little bit more space as well. Okay, there's the space. I can maybe try to fit some of these potions inside of this potion belt too. Protective purse for the insta proccing as well. Actually, no, we need five. Yeah, we have five. So that'll that'll be insta proc, right? Five times four is twenty. So we're getting even more um um what do you call that? For <laughs> uh, defense. We're getting more resistance now. Um do we need pineapple? Maybe for the proccing of the Dijon lamp. 
if we can get everything fast enough that would help i'll reserve it oh yes turning this and so oh yes okay that's what we'll definitely do and then we can also just buy that for the combination okay put that to the side like so First person inside consumed, gain a random buff. Four persons inside consumed, cleanse four buffs. So we just need four potions inside of this to be consumed, which will be one, and then it'll consume the other potion above it. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Damn it. We're not gonna have enough because I want one of these to be outside of it. Like this. I, I pretty much want it like this. But that'll just be one, two, three. Which is fine, I suppose. We don't really need to, need to cleanse the four divas, I guess. Um, but now that we're probably looking towards getting a degen activation, we'll probably need to switch it up like that. But I also need it to be fast. Which is a problem. <laughs> um... Let's see if it's a problem I can fix or not. I need that to be down there. We can move this down by one. And just fill this up with protective purses for the gin or the um, the garlic. Gin's going to go there. Um, I definitely want the gin to have the gloves of haste on it like that we can move this yeah move this down by one honestly i would love to move it over and put a book of life right there or even no it wouldn't work right here is probably the best because you're getting activations from the weapon along with the dj lamp which is good it's just i want the freaking gloves of haste i'm being too needy but i need to do that for sure and then as far as the food situation goes, we just need to fill in the rest of the food with food. That works. That works. It turned this sideways. Let's put garlic there for the activation and making that just a slight faster. And then I guess we'll just do, uh, do that in the meantime. So we got our activations for both mana orbs. Um, Dejan activation, potentially, maybe, if we can get the strong skins to activate, then it'll work. Or at least if we have enough resistance when it activates, it'll work. And then we'll buy the pineapple with the blood amulet next round. All right, going against a hammer build. Huge poison. Huge poison on this hammer build, by the way. Huge poison. Huge. 125 at the beginning. Not too bad. Now we just need a bunch of um, mana and clovers for the activation and spikes, which we're probably not going to activate because our spikes literally just went away. <laughs> um, looks like we're kind of tied, though. We did crit. Crit with staff putting in that work. Love to see it. Insta crits, infinite crits, always critting. But he's also got good DPS himself, and he just crit with all his daggers right there. Pretty crazy. That didn't crit, though. One more hit and he's dead. There we go. Let's go. Pretty strong build, I'll be honest. Um, let's get the blood amulet. Get that vampiric glove situation going, and we can also get the pineapple for the um for the pierce. Um I guess we'll just put it there, I suppose. I would love for it to just be faster. Let's get that. We don't really need I mean getting a third book of life. Could be nice. We just need... Uh, that's exactly what we need. All right. I'll take it. We can also get the Gloves of Haste, too. Yeah, why not? All right. That is honestly really good. I think I'd rather do this. Like so. Maybe get a little bit more food for the pineapple. Because the pineapple is very, very thirsty right now. It's got no food on them at all. 
Not a single lick of food. But I mean, at least it's generating thorns for us, right? There's that. Going against... Oh, no, we lost. <laughs> Double blood thorn with a cold artifact stone. Hella poison. Double spike shield. Double pineapple. If we can just survive long enough for our DPS to do the DPS work, which honestly might be happening. It might actually be happening. Come on, just keep critting. Let me get 10. Let me get 10 mana. Give me 10 mana. Give me 10 mana. Oh, no, it's not going to happen. I need 10 mana. I needed 10 mana like yesterday. No, we were so close. If we would have gotten 10 mana there for our ad other book of like to activate, we would have won. And then, I mean, we got the 20% slower. Right, so that's another thing. Good game, though. I'll take that L, but now we're going to get that mana uh, that we definitely, definitely, desperately need. If I could just sell something for two gold. Just two simple gold in order to get the Book of Life. I need to do it. I feel like I need to do it. Um, I say we sell the Burning Coals. They're good, but not like crazy. You know what I mean? Just to get another Book of Life. And we can just put this here. It's on Degen, it's on a crit wood. I love how just all of those are just activating things. It's beautiful. Um, I'm just going to put that there. That's what I'll do. I'll just put it there and then you can just go up there. That's beautiful. So now we got triple book of lives, triple mana orbs. All of them are activating things. Double mana potion on side of a strong sand potion. And then we also got the vampiric gloves looking beautiful. I would love for the vampire gloves to probably activate on this pineapple, though. Honestly, I just don't have space up there. Um, unless I sacrifice an activation to do this. Because then that would work. But then, I mean, I guess it would activate us for four seconds, but still. We did get another mana orb. Maybe we do generate enough mana, even with just that one activation missing. So maybe it's okay. Maybe it is okay. Maybe it is okay. Um, yeah. We'll just put it there. At least it's going to be 10% faster because of the fanny pack. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. All right, let's see how we do versus... We should definitely win against this guy. After we came so close to beating the other dude before him. And this build is literally like a baby version of the build we just went with. So we should definitely beat this guy. I guess we can use this as a time to see how much mana we generate. And second book of life should be activating now. There we go. So we should be able to activate the third book of life too. For sure. So our survivability is up there. There it goes again. And about this time, we're pretty much taking no damage this entire time because of the book of lives. And now we were doing 12 to 14 there, 10 to 13 there. And we're critting each hit, doing 40 damage each. He must have a lot of health generation because we haven't touched his health for some reason. I mean, he does have 18 vampirism, so there's that. And he's also getting the vampirism from uh, the Nocturnal Lifter. But I mean, our DPS is just better, right? Right? Excuse me? Why are we still tied? Hello? Out of stamina? No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come on. Lee, we can do this. Let's go. Holy crap. That was beautiful. How much damage did we do there? What, what was the biggest amount? Kurt with staff. 622 from there. 439 from the magic staff. 312 from spikes alone. Crazy. And his hungry blades did the most damage. How, bro, his regeneration must have been crazy. I mean, he did have 15 regeneration or vampirism. And then he got the 20% life steal. From the Nocturnal Lifters. And then he also had uh, Vampiric Gloves. I didn't even see the Vampiric Gloves until now. We need to figure out a way for the activation of the Jin. I feel like that's probably going to be our best thing right about now. Is figuring out an activation for that Jin. In order to win. Um, well, we only got one. Never mind. We only got one more game left. I take that back. Maybe we don't figure out an activation for it. I will get the Gloves of Haste though. For both of those. Should we get a bird? I think a bird would be good, actually. It activates a pineapple, the gin, and even the magic torch. So that's good.
this would have been good if I had like more <laughs> in order to at least enough for this. Oh no, it uses seven. Hold up. This is, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. When our health drops below 70%, by the time we get 70%, will we have enough clovers, mana, and thorns? We do have three book of lives, so maybe. Unless we go against a uh, bloodthorn. I mean, not bloodthorn, but if we go against a um, ripshaw blade, we're fucked. Um, but hopefully we just don't go against a ripshaw blade. And now we just need space to actually put this thing. Crap. I'm gonna move this down here. That still works. And I could just do that. I just don't have anywhere to put the banana now. Which is okay. Who needs a banana nowadays? You know what I mean? Like, realistically, like, who uses a banana? You know what I mean? No one. That's who, no one. Unless I just, uh, nah. We'll just not have a banana, I guess. I don't know why I'm reserving you. I can't buy anything. All right, let's go. Last battle. Last one. Let's see how we do versus Mana Thirst, Bloodthorn, Double Vampirism, uh, Gloves with the Pineapple, and a bunch of Mana and, um, I mean, a bunch of Regeneration and probably Vampirism. However, we just need to get enough on our plate in order for the Djinn to activate. Come on. Last Book of Life. Let's go. There we go. We're also really bad on stamina, which is very bad. Hold up. No. Wait, did it activate? We're probably going to lose this. I think it activated, though. It definitely activated. We're, we're going to lose because of stamina. I should not have sold that banana. We're going to lose because of stamina, bro. Everything's too fast. This is a 0.7. That's a 0.9. That's a 1.6 stamina usage, and we have no stamina generation. I messed up this build because of stamina. If we had bananas here, I would have been... I'd have been happy, but I'm I still I'm still a little bit happy. We got the gin to activate. That's all that matters. But still, that was a good game. I'll take that L. I'm so happy. I won in my heart. Okay. I won in my heart. That's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. I won in my heart. I was still pretty damn good though. If our crit was stopped, would have activated more with having uh, you know, us having actual stamina. I think that would have been good. Damn. 47 to 51 damage. Sheesh. That is a lot of damage. What a lot of mana generation, though, from the three mana orbs. Enough to activate the Book of Lies and pretty much do everything we want to. We just needed bananas or stamina or uh, potions, and we've been solid. Good game, though.